Hi everyone, this is video two in our series on Foundation for Emails from Zurb. And in this particular episode, we're going to go over the directory structure a little bit more and go through the concepts of layouts, pages, and partials. Now to get started, the first thing we're going to do is go into the project directory that we have all our, all our code in. And I'm just going to run npm start. This will fire up the temporary web server. And once it gets fired up, you can immediately see that in the browser window. And it also, when you first fire it up, if you look at the terminal window here, you'll see the local and external um, URLs for this page. So if you want to share it with somebody else, you've got your local host. And if you have a specific IP address, you can give those to people. So let's take a look at the directory structure here. Um, as we noted last time, there's two main areas. You've got the source directory and distribution. Uh, source is where you're going to create all of your code, and distribution is where things that are compiled and ready for distribution gets get created by the system. And with any of these systems, there, you're going to have some sort of a templating system in place. Um, and this one has three different levels to it. And that's done to give you kind of the most amount of flexibility when creating these emails. Now, layouts are the kind of the base template. This is the main template you'll kind of use to wrap all of your email content in. Now, this has, you'll see this, if you open up under layouts, default HTML, it has all of the, you know, basic, you know, HTML at the top, HTML tags and bottom. So you'll get the heading and the top one and the closing tag. Same, it has the head body tag, just like a regular web page would have. Um, even have the doc type at the top, which is kind of important for these email clients. And in the content here, it kind of works its way down. You'll see some a few handlebar. If you're familiar with the handlebars templating system, um, you can, you'll see some of these in here. And we'll go over those in just a few minutes. And you also have one in the middle of the page. Now there are some nice comments in here. It'll say here that the pages you create in the source pages directory, they'll be inserted here uh, when the flattened emails are created. And by flattened emails, they simply mean the compiled ones. And we'll look at that in a minute. And you've got this body tag in here. This is the a handlebars tag. Again, we'll go over all that in just a minute. Now your content for your email will generally go right in here. You can put some programmatic logic around things to have different parts of a page or different pages inserted, but generally it assumes you're going to have at least you know, one page in the system. Now, if we go over to the pages directory on the sidebar here, there is an index.html stuck in there. And when you see the body tag here, this little greater than, greater than sign simply means it's going to insert a file into there. It's going to insert index.html, and here is the actual content of the email that we see over here. And if we make a change to it, let's throw a little, let's put an h1 tag at the top just for demonstration purposes. If I save that, you'll see the terminal window kind of doing some work. The web page automatically reloads and we have the word test at the top. So it automatically shows you those changes. We stuck that at the top. This actually looks like it's at the top of the page here. And it is at the top of the content for the page. But this whole page, this whole index.html is actually inserted right here within the, within the HTML of the layout template. So you've got the main layout templates Inside of those are pages. So you can add pages inside of a layout. So that's why for each one of these directories, each one of these like projects you have, um, as long as things are fairly standard, you've got the same kind of wrapper around things, you're really gonna need one layout for any, any kind of given project. Now there may be some differences in how some variables are stuck in, and we'll look at that, that in just a minute. But that's kind of the structure they have for you, layouts, contain pages. Now pages, they in turn can contain little pieces as well. And that's what these partials are. And if we go into, um, I'm going to clean up that 
little code I had in the page. If we go to partials, it usually doesn't have anything in here. I created a little HTML page file. I just stuck it in there for demonstration purposes. Partials are little snippets of HTML. They don't warrant their own page per se, but if you wanted to have a block of content, you would repeat a couple times. If you wanted to, to have some kind of ad content and uh, you know, perhaps it, the partials are little blocks of code that inside your page at the page level, you have some logic that determines which, under what conditions, certain partials would get inserted into the, the page. So I'll show you how this works. Again, it's very similar to how pages relate to the layouts. The partials, you create a simple snippet of HTML code. There's no need to have, you know, the HTML tag, head tag, any of that stuff. It's just kind of the internals of a page. I've called it test html and if i go up to my page and i'll create another row here oh sorry i gotta do it inside my container and here if i tell it to insert test if I save it, this gets reloaded. And now when I look at my web page, it's already been reloaded. It includes this is test and an image, which is exactly what is in this little snippet. I'm showing an external, pulling an external image in, and it's got this is a test. So this little piece, we have our here's our main template layout template. I'm going to rearrange these a little. Then we have our page. Inside of our page we have some handlebars code. And the handlebars is just simply a templating system. So these little double curly braces around it. The greater than symbol simply means go out and look for and grab a file called test. And it's assuming the extension is going to be test.html. And when it goes out, if it sees it, it grabs it, sticks it into the page, and then it renders it out with everything else. So it works pretty well. So you've got layouts, pages, and partials. So with a combination of these things, you can put together uh, a complete layout of all different kinds of content. And so this it kind of helps you compartmentalize or componentize some of your pieces of the emails and keeps them organized. One of the other interesting things you can do is within pages, you have these variables. These things are at the top. And these are, again, if you're generating some of this from, this is, you seem to be, these are more static type things, but you can, again, add some things in here and then use the handlebars, the programmatic aspects of handlebars, which we'll get into in another video. You can then, based on certain conditions or certain data from your database, have this system automatically change up the emails. So here's, we're going to add another variable called project, and then we'll say super secret project. Now at the very top, I'm going to take out that code we just put in there for that partial. And in its place, I'm simply going to, I'm going to put those curly braces back in. And I'm just going to put the word project. That's the name of the field, project. And I have at the top here, this is almost a field value pair scenario. So now when I reference that one, I'm just putting the name in. I don't need the greater than sign at the top. If I save that, now we'll see super secret project at the top. So you can add variable content in that way as well if you want to. So that's it for pages, uh, layouts, pages, and partials. We've covered some of the variables that you can add inside of a page. We've covered a little bit on the handlebars concepts. We've covered uh, how to using the um, so handlebars template you know, idea here of a little greater than side to insert a page. 
and we can see how layouts can include pages, which can include partials. And from there, we can build up our entire email. When we're done, we have everything all ready. We can break out of our, you just control C if you're on Linux to break out of the watch cycle of the system. And if, now if we simply run NPM, run build, rather than simply starting up the web browser, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do that, but it's also going to create our new files in the distribution directory. And here is our email now, all compiled, ready for cut and paste into whatever email distribution system you use, be it you know, uh, MailChimp or SendGrid or you know any of the hundreds of them out there. Um, you've got the CSS is still set up separately in case you want to reference that or push it upstream and reference it. But here, all of the code is compiled and all the styles are in line. And that's it. Stay tuned for another video and we'll talk about some more of these ideas within Zurb uh, Foundation for Emails too. Thanks.